I'm going to show you how to use your new iPad as a laptop replacement. Now I've had this thing for a couple of days now, actually not even a couple of days, I've had this for a little over 24 hours and uh, it is a great uh, device, it has a great feel to it uh, weight wise and I actually can't put it down, I've been fooling around with it quite a bit. So uh, part of the problem that I see with it is it won't allow me to uh, work on the applications that I work on most, which would be, you know, in Word and in Excel, um, won't let me play certain videos, and so I wanted to find a way around that, and also I wanted to find a better way to actually have it connect to my office computers, my office network a little easier, and to be able to do administration from on the road to other servers that we maintain for people. And so the way that I've found that works right now is using a program called Jump Desktop. And this is a great little program. Um, and basically you can use your new iPad as uh, a laptop replacement and connect into your PCs that are you know, either at your home office or at your office uh, and be able to use any application from them. And so I'm going to demonstrate that now. So we go into our Jump Desktop program. I've got a couple PCs set up here. We're going to go into demo and uh, we'll start this up. And all you need is an active internet connection, uh, or in this case, we're actually using it live on the LAN here. Uh, I did use it across the internet. It's very responsive, just as you would expect remote desktop to be. And so you'll notice there's a circle uh, with, an, with your pointer above it. You can actually click on that circle, that'll allow you to move around. Uh, move around the pointer. Also the screen will move up and down and I'll show you how you use that later. Right now we're just gonna kinda put it in the middle here and we want to log in as admin. Now I can just click on admin and it'll move my cursor over there and it'll act as a tap uh, or I can use the circle here and tap in there. Now you'll notice there's no keyboard. You go to the top here hit the keyboard icon and it'll come up. We're just gonna put in our password here. and we'll get rid of our keyboard so we can see the screen and here's our PC now we can do anything we want to do on this PC that we do as if we we're standing in front of it uh, now there's a couple things that you have to think about uh, or, or look at and one is getting to some of these bottom icons you may have to shift the screen up but really that's not much of a problem Oops. Okay and we can get in, use Excel, use any of the programs on our desktop, use the keyboard um, but we can also just simply click where we want to click. So if we bring this up, we want to bring up the internet we can certainly do that by just clicking on it and it'll open it up. So this is uh, how I see the iPad becoming a very powerful tool for me anyway is I can carry this around and have it so that I can get to most of my programs very quickly that I need to get to as far as the internet's concerned just from the actual iPad itself. It's got a very fast boot up time uh, as opposed to carrying around a laptop which is going to take you know two three minutes to boot up and to get into things. This will get into things that you use a lot very quickly and then I can go for uh, longer uses or for other uses anyway going into uh, jump desk to get to uh, the programs that aren't able to be run on the actual iPad. Um, and I thought that was going to keep me logged in here, but apparently it hasn't. So let's go, we'll log in again. So as you leave that screen, it's actually going to log you off of that. Now, you can get an internet connection through Wi-Fi, which is actually what I'm using right now, um, but that doesn't help me on the road. I didn't order this with the uh, the 3G service that they have. I didn't think I would use it enough um, and actually I think I was kind of wrong <laughs> about using it a lot because I think I'm going to use it a ton. But what I did uh, find or what I, what I am using is I have a Verizon mobile device that allows me to cl connect to it and so I can use when I'm on the road this device which is here. This is just a Verizon uh, wireless it's a hotspot basically, or a personal hotspot, and what that does is I can put that wherever I am, turn it on, the iPad will actually connect to it and use that for its internet connection. And uh, I actually see myself, uh, when I'm on the road or when I'm traveling, utilizing this more than uh, I would a laptop just because of how I end up using these devices. 
Hope that helps and uh, I hope that helps other people figure out new uses for the iPad.